Hey there, Jag here from Modern Word Grip. So, do you ever wanted to create a video tutorial yourself, uh, like how I do here, and um, didn't have all the bells and whistles, like, you know, a, a video recording software and things like that? In this tutorial, I'll actually show you how to record your um, screen and uh, publish uh, video tutorials of your own in inside your Office 65 tenant. So, here I am in uh, going to Office uh, dot com uh, log in with your work and school account and then you'll actually see uh, an app called stream if you don't have access to stream check out uh, reach out to your admin uh, office 65 admin and ask them for a license so and once you click on that you'll actually go into the stream app itself and microsoft recently have actually created a uh, launched a new feature called record your video all you have to do is just click create and click record screen by the way this is not the only way of uh, creating videos inside uh, using office 365 right there's multiple other ways uh, in in some other videos I'll actually show you how to do those as well without you going and buying a screen recording software so here I have, uh, if uh, if you're using this for the first time you, you're gonna ask uh, the the browser is gonna ask you to give permissions to record the microphone and, and, and the cameras right so in this case I'm gonna say allow and here is your record your screen option so uh, one thing to note you can record up to 15 minutes this way but in the other tutorials that i'll be showing you can actually record more than 15 minutes as well so in let's have a look at this and using microsoft stream how you can record and the key part is you can also do a bit of editing as well so that's the magic so let's actually have a look at it so start recording you can actually see that my screen uh, my webcam is is now shown uh, here on the screen I can actually move this anywhere else I can actually I, let's say I wanted to move this to the top uh, right uh, corner there and I'm going to select this screen here uh, as my application window so click on that click share it gives you a, a quick counter and then it starts recording so now what you can do is you can actually go around you know click around uh, this is a, a tutorial that I've done previously on uh, tracking site activity but uh, you get the idea right so what if you uh, like you know let's let's go back you've done your uh, walkthrough of the tutorial and now I can actually go ahead and um, stick pause and that's uh, pretty much it so you could just pretty much once you've done with that you click next and here you can actually see I've recorded a a 26 minute video here here as well so if I just go ahead and play you'll actually see the video playing in the background so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and upload this uh, if you're not happy with this recording you can actually go and click record again and, and start recording again in this case I'm gonna say upload to stream okay give this a name stream screen recording tutorial if I can spell right so tutorial give the description I always uh, insist on giving a description so just go ahead and say this is a, a learning tute on how to use stream feature to record screen something like that Select a video language. By selecting a video language, one thing you can note is it actually creates transcriptions as well. We'll, we'll. we'll look at that in a different video. So now I can actually give permission to allow everyone in your company to view this video. Maybe you don't want to do that straight away, so you would untick that. Uh, the, the plan of action is, you know, probably you, you have an existing stream channel uh, or a group uh, which is you, you upload them to, say, uh, for all your learning tutorials maybe you don't want to give everybody access to that uh, to this video alone maybe you wanted to put that video in that particular group channel right so you would do that so now the trick the the the, the part that i insist on is i've uh, is is don't click on publish yet so because if you click at publish you don't get that edit options to edit the video so instead i will actually click on save as draft and now you could actually see it said uh, the processing has been complete and now you can actually go to my videos that will open up all your videos and here is the video that uh, I've created in the draft right so now click on the pencil icon or you can just click on the video title as well in this case I'm going to click on the pen uh, video title there and here you can actually see 
the video starts playing and things like that right so now what i want to do click on the three dots uh, down here as i'm show, showing you on the screen and see there's an option which says trim video so it gives you you know some capability to say you know trim out the the starting and the end of the video so here i have i can actually set trim points on the video so let's say i don't want to record this so see this is me getting ready for the recording until about here okay uh right about there i think okay so now i can actually put uh, i won't say maybe not that maybe i want to do the six second mark okay thereabouts okay so now here i am happy you can actually play your video and actually listen to what you're saying and things as well select the start point and then click on set trim start point so if i do that what it does it actually trims um, the video to the to the place header where I've actually selected in case you you're uh, maybe wanted to redo this you can always do that you know you can always set it back to that and maybe change this to say a, a seven second mark and then now I wanted to set the trim point there similarly you could do the same thing instead see how uh, I've got a the tutorial i'm actually showing you the the recording controls and things like that maybe i don't want to do that instead in this case i would just go and right about there i want to end the tutorial you would go select place your uh, header um the control uh, the the control here at, at the at the point at the in this case i'm placing it at 22 second mark and uh you could also zoom the the your timeline as well right so and so on and so forth so because it's a short video, I can't do much, but in, you get the idea. So now I would actually go and select this set trim endpoint. And now you've uh, removed off that. And now I have I'm starting at seven seconds and finishing at 20 second, 22 seconds. So now I would go ahead and click here at the top left corner. You see an apply option. You just click on the apply. And it's it's going to save. It's, uh, it's going to give you a warning saying that, you know, now you can't redo it. So that's fine. Just go ahead and continue maybe you could actually do one thing if you wanted to store a raw file you could actually create a duplicate version a duplicate copy of the file um, and then it starts recording so now what you can so now you can actually see it's uh, it still has a bit of recording materials maybe i need to uh, even trim out a bit more as well so you could even do that now i can just go ahead again once it's finished trimming i can actually go back and do the further trimming and, and, and stuff like that so in this case uh, i've got a message saying that your video is being trimmed and will be updated soon try refreshing this page so let's wait Usually, I think it takes a little while for it to finish its uh, edits. So, just why don't you go and uh, grab a coffee? Uh, let me keep trying. While this is happening, you could actually go and, and uh, do something else, and you, know, you could do you could you could go and trim other videos as well, and you can always access your uh, um, videos from here. It says trimming. Uh, and and it's still in the draft so give it a few more minutes and then it'll finish up uh, editing and then you can actually get back to it what i'll do i'll take uh, i'll pause the video here for a second and then uh, i'll just wait for it to come back okay all right uh, so we're back on now so it took a few minutes um uh, roughly around four or five minutes uh, for, for it to finish its streaming so it's not your great fastest uh, video editing software that's available on the planet earth right so uh, but it does the job especially that's the whole point here is not to go and buy a screen recording software uh, but it's it's about quick um, not really quick but it's a way for you to go and uh, uh, record tutorial screen recordings and edit them quickly and then um, I keep saying quick but it doesn't it's not quick it just took me four minutes for the trimming to finish anyway so now i can actually go and uh, have a look at the video here it's uh, now it's it starts without the the uh, the, uh, the right moment time it doesn't show you those for the first few minutes where i'm, I'm getting the recordings set up and stuff like that 
and then it also it doesn't show you the the end uh, where I'm actually going and, and fiddling around with the actual recording of uh, recording controls as well so there you have it uh, now what you do you would actually go back and uh, click on this video and you could actually go and publish this so for you to publish it you could once you've done it you can also go back and, and, and uh, you know do further trimming as well but I just wanted to go back into my videos and see how it says uh, Okay, so there you have it. Uh, there's, it's still in draft. I can actually go ahead and click. The computer froze for a moment and it's loading back in when I hit the publish button. I don't know what happened. I think, uh, I think it's nothing to do with the publish button itself, but you get the idea there, right? Um, that's how you would uh, record a video and publish, uh, do a bit of editing and then publish it uh, inside Microsoft Stream. Once you've done that, you can actually post it onto your Microsoft Teams or SharePoint Online. Um, there you have it. Uh, in the next, in, in, in the subsequent videos, I'll also show you how to record videos using, again, Microsoft Stream, mobile app, using Teams, using PowerPoint as well. So there's multiple ways of how you could actually record videos more than 15, uh, 15 minutes. Uh, so I uh, hope you've learned something new. This is Jag Kakalapuri from Modern Work Group. <laughs>